that club. That's a great hit. That's a great distance. All right, so let's take a look at the the air jet. And this is the standard model. Overall, I like the shape of it. Do I like the um, the colors? I do. I actually like what Cobra did. They were, you know, more black, orange, yellow. They're going this year, you know, black, white, blue. I like the color combination. Um, I liked it last year too. Um, the other thing is the one thing that kills me about this club is that it's so damn shiny. But the one thing I love about it is the actual shape. Um, you know, I'm not. This is kind of almost like last year's model when it comes to the shape. But for me. Uh, Looking at the face of it, kind of like last year's too. So I'm interested to see if it tests better uh, or if it's going to be so, you know more of the same. But from an aerodynamic standpoint, looks good. I think it's the colors are the color combination is gorgeous. That's the one thing I really like about this club, and that's pretty much it. Out of the, the only thing that I <laughs> gets annoying sometimes is looking at it at a dress and looking how shiny it is. So that's Cobra Jet standard. Very interested to see how this, after last year's model, last year's model was just insanely good. Good, let the roll out right. Great ball flight. See what that does? Right down the middle of the fairway. That's a great hit. That's a great distance. We're gonna hit the Cobra Airjet LS. That felt good. That sounded good. Man, that left. <laughs> Two seventy-five and a fade again. That is beautiful ball flight. All right, so we are done with the Cobra Air Jet Standard, and may I say this is going to be the sneaky driver of the year, knowing that it's about a hundred, hundred fifty bucks under all the main brands. And you can still put this thing out a mile. We're gonna review this, we're gonna go over the numbers. I was also hitting this pretty exhausted. And on certain shots, it still exploded off the club face. I'm still putting some out 280. So we're gonna go back, we're gonna go make sense of the numbers. And then overall, I'm gonna give you the uh, rating of the standard as well as the LS model. And for me, I can tell you they're probably gonna be pretty high because I was very impressed with these, uh, both of these drivers. So let's go back to the house and go make sense of the numbers. All right, welcome back. We are at the house and we're gonna make sense of the Aerojet LS and the Aerojet Standard. Um, I wanna make sure that, you know, I'm going over the data and there's a few a few points that I'm pulling out, not because they're bad shots, I'm pulling out because I wanna make sure I'm giving it the amount of respect it deserves. At this point, I was testing out four, all the, basically all the 2023 drivers and I started to get a little fatigued at this point, but there were certain shots that I knew for a fact, that's my normal carry, my normal distance. So for me, let's go right into the data and let's break it down. So, so we are going to start off with the Cobra. I call it the Aerojet. It's the Aerojet. I'm just blind. All right. So I apologize there. But I, you know, I took shots out because uh, I was looking at the ball speed. I looked at this. Um, I mean, for me, this is this is the stuff that makes sense. This is what I'm normally hitting. But let's go over the numbers. The club speed was in 0.6 of consistency. So. I wanted to make the ball speed all around the same to make sense of this. And the carry, it was carrying really well. You know, this is this is the low spin, and it kept to its name. I mean, in reality, even on my worst hit, I was at 25-20, but 21-40, 19-50, 20-70. And this is what I wanted you to make That's sense of. I was yeah. launching these high. I, I was trying to play these at around maybe a 12 or 13. And I was coming up on that. And I was still able to get with that, that spin rate at a launch angle going up. So for me, I was very impressed by looking at these, these two categories. And then seeing the overall carry 
of pretty much, you know, 300, 300, 298, 275 carry, 275 carry. These are all, these are the numbers this here. One, the dispersion, even with that on, pretty damn accurate. There wasn't, all, all the shots were in the same spot. For me, that tells the tale that Cobra, just like last year's model, very forgiving. It was a very forgiving model this um, year, too, as well. I just uh, thought this was a much easier club to hit for an LS version, and I was very impressed it lived up to the name. The Cobra Aerojet standard, I can't, I can't spell. And I took numbers out, too. I looked at the ball speed. Again, I wanted to make sense of this. So, for me, I was hitting the standard better. It's a little more forgiving than the LS. But the cool thing about this is that my spin rate was still spin low. Rate. That my um, launch angles were probably, you know, a degree or two lower and helping that spin rate out. But for me, that's amazing. Even on the miss hits, 23, 10, 20, these are pretty good for miss hits. But I was carrying the core over about 270. On, a, on good, a normal hits, I wouldn't even consider this because usually my ball speed on a cracked shot is in the 161, 162 range. So I'm positive I could put this out about 285, 284. Even up here, 161 proves I can put this out when I when needed. So for me, and let me show you the dispersion. And let me show you this, you know, the dispersion of kind of all the shots. I, I, I try to be, you know, even with all the shots, you know, and I'm not taking the accountability of the carry here. It's pretty damn good. The Cobra's pretty um. accurate. You know, I the misses, know. I would say misses, but, you know, I would say slightly off because I look at the smash factor. They weren't complete misses. Um, and then I make sense of this. I mean, in reality, I mean, it's right on the line. So, you know, Cooper's got something good here. Let's just put it that way. And I was swinging this exhausted. So, for me, I know for a fact I can put this out 285, 280, 285. So, when we come back, we're going to go to my overall rating on this club. And that's about it. I mean, I was very impressed. And for me, I'm still trying to figure out things with the Cobra. But I'm going to go over that in overall rating. So when we come back, overall rating. Stay tuned. All right. Overall rating on the Cobra Aerojet LS as well as the standard. So overall, impressed. I mean, for a club that is literally $150 less than all the other you know major brands out there, um, I felt, I want to be honest, I felt that it was better than some of the major brands. Um, I hit these clubs exhausted, and my dispersion was still as big as a baseball. And so, you know, for both of those, the spin was low. The LS model for this club is fantastic. It really holds to its name. Um, the standard, I was putting it out on, a, you know, exhausted. This is, just remember... A hundred and about ten swings in, I was hitting the standard, and I was still able to get it out, carrying 280, 282, 279, rolling it out to 308, exhausted. I look at this as like, do I go retest this? Like when I, I, I have a feeling if I am hitting this at my normal ball speed at 161 to 163, I'm putting this out 285 to 286 every time, and I'm gonna be honest, this it would be. An upgrade because for me, I'm playing the rogue. Distance wise, it's not an upgrade. I crush my rogue. I hit that thing. I hit that. I murder that thing. Accuracy wise, I think this is slightly more accurate than uh, what I saw with my personal rogue. And I'm going to be honest, the dispersion comparatively to the paradigm, to the stealth, I can't say the ping. The ping is by far the most accurate, but sneakily, Cobra's right there. The number one thing I'm going to give this club is its forgiveness on both models. Both models, it does not matter your skill level. You can play them both. And the reason being is that I'm not a pro. I'm an amateur. I'm a good ball striker. And for me, I was able to manipulate both of them and get that low spin with actually the standard too. Um, I was even I was able to get the lower spin because I got the launch angle lower. Is this really hitting it? So overall, this is something you can put in the bag. If you are trying to figure out is it better than the paradigm? Is it better than the stealth? Is it better than the ping? You, it's really what you need if to look. If you're for. looking for distance, it's, it's not going to be better than the paradigm. The paradigm goes a country mile. 
Is it going to be ac more accurate than the Paradigm? In my opinion, yes. It's a, it's a much more accurate uh, driver than the Paradigm. Uh, it's also depending on the skill level, too. Anyone can be accurate, but I'm saying for forgiveness, Cobra, I would say, out of the drivers, number two. Ping, by far the most accurate, most forgiveness. Cobra, though, for $150 less? This is a steal. I'm still trying to figure out how Cobra sells their clubs for that much less, and their product is so good. I'm sorry to say, Cobra has been, for the last two years, has been fantastic. Is no. it better than last year's model? Now, that's a tough one. But I did test last year's model. For me, I pulled up an old Trackman uh, when I or old Trackman results and carry on that day because obviously I would want to do the. You know, I plan on doing Paradigm versus Rogue all against their you know South Two versus South One. Those are going to be my next videos. If I'm going pre before I make that video, it's slightly better than the Cobra from last year. Now I'm going to give my honest opinion again. I was hitting the Cobra from last year probably around two two seventy five two eighty. I was exhausted while hitting this and hitting it 275, 280. I would, could still put this out a long way. So do I think it is slightly better than Cobra's model from the last year? I do. I really do. And I think this is something that can end up Not in a bag. I think Not overall, it brings everything. Power, accuracy, forgiveness, and it's a gorgeous club. That's the other thing. It is a beautiful club. I think... Out of all the clubs this year, I think it's the prettiest. I think it's aesthetically the most appealing to my eye. For me, Cobra did a fantastic job all around. So that's my honest opinion. I think it's slightly better than the Cobra from last year. And, hint, hint, we may be doing a video, the Aerojet versus the Cobra from last year. <coughs> um, and we will be doing that. So before anyone makes any purchases against their old drivers. I will be coming out with videos next week of all this. I am testing all their, all this year's models versus last year's models. And I'm give, gonna give you my honest opinion on them. So other than that, if you are maybe thinking about changing brand, give the Cobra a try. Super forgiving, pounding the crap out of it. I was hitting it on the heel, hitting on the toe. The Spurgeon was like a baseball. I don't know what's in the water at Cobra, but very impressed. Other than that, if you like my channel and you like what I'm doing, hit that subscribe button right this second or you're going to miss out when I compare Stealth 2, Stealth 1, Cobra Aerojet versus the old Cobra, and so on. And just as I always end, well, all of my videos, I keep it real!